Okay, so welcome to my channel. This is the first official video. I guess this is like my maintenance, mini maintenance, because I only did hair. I ended up doing my nails. Oops. I didn't really do everything that I usually do. But yeah, so I just need to make an intro because I didn't want to come on camera and get a mess. I'm going to be starting with my hair and stuff. I just went to the beauty supply store and I bought some products that I had seen on TikTok. And my mom is a hairstylist and so I had asked her if these are good products and she was like she heard about them they were good she wanted to try them i wanted to try them so i got that and then i got this black panther um braid gel i had seen on dope panda channel that she was using one time and i was like oh this look like it will work good for my hair so i decided to try it and then i got a dr bronner soap bar it's the almond one. Um, Cause it smells good and I want to try it. But I'm about to do a hot oil treatment on my hair and then I'm going to use these products. So, yeah, I guess we starting with hair first. I don't even know if I'm braiding my hair. I don't know if I'm doing a ponytail. I'm just giving a ponytail because I don't know if I have energy to stand up and braid. So, let's see. Hey y'all, uh, I need to put some hair on, hold on. So I have finished my hair. I put some pen curls in it. Last night I finished it really, but I never came back to show y'all because I was tired and it was a lot going on. Like, girl, anyway, but I wanted to show y'all. I got a package. I wanted to do like a mini pickups recent pickups because i've been ordering some stuff um hold on let me see let me go get and i purchased some stuff girl back up back up okay um okay let me get this bag Show y'all what's what is given. Okay, let me see if I can get this set up. Just hold my camera. I should actually be good. I don't even know if it's good or not. But just so I got some. Um, I ended up ordering me some books because I've been getting back into reading. Things that I like to do. I love to read, and I had ordered from here previously, but they sent me an empty box to my house. I feel like it was USPS because I don't think this place would have sent this because I had it. But USPS delivered an empty box to my house. Hold on. So now that I know I'm in frame, I can show y'all. So I ordered from Book Outlet, and um. Like I was saying, USPS delivered an empty box now, so they gave me a credit, and I was able to save it 
and then I ordered some more books. So I ordered three books. I got Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Literally, the way Book Talk and Bookstagram have been hyping up this book, I had to go get it because I was just like, I need me a another for fun book because I had just read, I finished um, Black Girls Must Die. Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. I finished that. I like that. I actually need to be ordering the second book to that, but all the rest of my books were like spiritual self-help type of books. So I was like, I need some more for fun books. So we got seven days of June. I'm about to probably start reading this today because I've been feeding. Then I got um, 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand. Um, I've been hearing a lot about Ellen Hildebrand, mostly her books um, are geared towards summertime, but I don't know, something about this storyline, I was like, okay, it's fitting, I can still read it right now. And then the last book I got was Money Devils 1, a cartel novel by Ashley and Jaquavis, I think that's what it is. But this is your typical mob, mafia, cartel book. Um, it's giving Wattpad vibes. But I wanted to get this because it sounded interesting. Child messing up. But it sounded very interesting. And I love the ratchetness. I love me a ratchet story. So as far as clothes, I went thrifting. If you know me on my style, it's more like Y2K. Um, I don't want to say Y2K because nowadays Y2K is defined by its own. It's defined by some weird stuff nowadays. But I'll definitely say it's giving Video Vixen early 2000s. That's kind of like how my where my style is giving. So um, I just want to make sure my phone is doing good or anything, but. Yeah, so let me. So I went recently to um, the thrift to see what they had in the stores. I didn't really find anything because um, I don't know. Just like a lot of the thrifts around where I live at, they don't have anything. So I do most of my thrifting online via like Depop or Poshmark. But um, I'm trying to change my whole wardrobe. Like I'm. I'm Switching my whole identity basically, hence why I'm starting my YouTube and breaking out of my show and you know getting myself back out there. But, anyways, so the first thing I picked up was these like I don't even know what material this is um, polyester and rayon. These are some old navy pants. Um, they're just like these comfy, like, I don't know if you can see the texture of the pants, but it was given very much fall, very much cozy girl, and I felt like I could dress this up or down depending on what um, outfit I'm going for. I was even thinking about making this like a preppy look, like a, I don't know, I just be liking to try out the box thing, like with some glasses and some high top sneakers and, you know, maybe, I don't know. But I love these pants. Or I might just be given lounge around the house. I don't know. But I just had to get them. They were $6 and they're a size 2. Was not leaving them on the shelf, on the rack. So the next thing I got was just this basic white tee. Um, but it was given very much Y2K for me. It was given very much early 2000s with the neckline and how like the band is and then, you know, like I feel like I could throw on like a pretty charm necklace or a charm bracelet and have some plushies on my purse, put on like Juicy Couture purse and it'll be so cute. So, and it's very good material, like it's thick. It's by the brand Apostrophe. It's a size petite, but like the, material is so thick like that's why i got it because it's a good white t-shirt that's gonna last i don't know why who got rid of this but it's definitely going in some bleach and the last thing i got 
This is probably one of my favorite things that I got. Wore these jeans, these Hudson jeans. Um, they're a dark wash, flared, of course, low rise, of course. Um, yeah, and I really love these jeans because one, I didn't have a good pair of dark wash, like dark, dark wash, solid dark wash jeans. And I love the embellishments that Hudson. I love the embellishments that Hudson puts on their jeans. Like if you can see, it has like this flag here. I feel like this is Great Britain, is it or England? I don't know. One of them. That's one of their flags. Um, and they also have it on the butt. This little thing it says Hudson. But. It's so cute. These was, oh, the white t-shirt was $5 and it was a small. These were $6. So these were $6. These were $6. 12 plus this $5 t-shirt. I spent $17 on a pair of jeans, a pair of pants, and a t-shirt. So those were like my recent pickups. I plan on definitely showing y'all more of my recent pickups once I order my stuff but um I have so much stuff in my cart that I need to get like my fur boots my bowler bags like I wanted to show y'all the juicy bag that I was talking about um I guess I could turn it so here it is here's my baby let me see I can show y'all so I got this juicy this is another pickup I guess I could show y'all I got this off Depop I think it was like $60 or something like that but it's just a orange <laughs> a yellow and pink juicy couture bag and she came with a a little um bracelet a bead bracelet um, the seller gifted this to me with it and it has a little Hello Kitty on it. I didn't even notice that. The little Hello Kitty. But, um, and then the bag itself comes with the Juicy Couture gold charm and the, you know, the signature Juicy rhinestone hearts. But yeah, this is my Juicy bag. My first in my collection. Um. I definitely plan on getting more because I love this bag. Even though I haven't even worn it yet. I just, I don't know. When I get new stuff, I just be like trying to save it and stuff. But this is definitely popping out this winter. I just don't know what I want to wear it with yet. I bought it originally. I bought it originally to go with these. My um yellow dunks. But I never got to wear it with those. So. Yeah, those are my recent pickups. Um, so hair is done. I think I'm about to start on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm in the bathroom. We're gonna get started with this. Um, with my wax routine, I, it's time for me to touch up because. Yeah, it's just about that time. It's giving man. Um, the underarms just get they they woofing. So um, I'm about to get this stuff set up and then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna. I think we're gonna start with my armpits. I always start with my armpits because I always gotta work myself up to do my lip. Cause for some reason the lip just be here different. But yeah, hold on. All right, y'all. So um, let me take this shirt off. Alright, so first I'm gonna start my underarms. I always just grab um just a couple of cotton balls because I use a lot of them right now. Let me show you. Armor, this is from Gigi. Um it's heating up my wax. This is the wax that I use. Regalico hard wax. Um I got this from Amazon. Couple my put up. I want to try a new wax I had got from my job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here it is. So this company has sent my job. I work at a spa, and so they sent us some soft wax. This is the 
zinc oxide and vanilla and i've been wanting to try this but this is soft wax and i don't have any wax strips like white wax paper to use to use that yet so hard wax it is for now you want to take your something to dry out your armpits you do not want to wax on sweaty pits or dirty pits um oily pits because it will not the wax will not like take and you'll have to keep pulling and snatching so i use this argo cornstarch just for waxing it's not for my kitchen but um i take a cotton ball and i just dip it into there and then i put it on my armpits mine are not that bad because i do try to keep up with this at least every two weeks Every week, depending on how bad it gets. Um, I went out like a week ago or two ago, and I wasn't shaved. I mean, I wasn't waxed, so I had to quickly shave, and I was so mad about it because I hate shaving now. I feel like it'd be starting my progress over as far as like my hair grow. Because you know, when you wax, your hair starts to grow back even. Um, thinner so i feel like every time i shave i mess up my progress with my hair thinning because okay so it's warm i'm gonna pour a little bit more of my wax beads in there just because they don't look like enough for both my armpits Let me do one more little clean up strip. I'm gonna do that. This wax is real hot though. The end of this vlog, I'm just gonna do my toes and then I think I wanna like do my makeup and get cute to take um, content pictures from my Instagram page. So, 
Yeah. I guess I'll do a time lapse of me doing that. Cause. I don't know how I'm gonna do this lick. All right, so that's it for the underarms, y'all. After this is the key. You want to make sure you're doing something post wax because you don't want to just wax and then just leave your armpits like this. Um, so I use Ten Skin Solution. Uh. Holy Grail. This is um, a skincare solution for ingrown hairs, razor bumps, shaving, and waxing. Um, it's cruelty free, which is an A plus plus. You know. So I take another one of the cotton swabs and just like squeeze some of those, some of that one there, and I just swipe my armpits. And this is kind of it takes the wax like the extra wax that you didn't get to so it's like a it's burning though it's stinging though alright you know I'll just do the same thing over here I think it's stinging because the wax was so hot kind of like pores is open beautiful this one still looks a little dark There's no hair, so beautiful. Now onto this look, y'all. I don't know how to do this thing. I'm about to do it real fast though, cause I got time to be in this bathroom all night. So same thing. Take your cornstarch. You're gonna look crazy, but I've been walking around looking crazy with a mustache. You gotta do it because you cannot be waxing on no. I'm gonna blow this to death because if I burn my lip. But I'm not that big of a G yet, so um, like I said, apply in the direction of growth, rip in the opposite. So, ew, let it dry. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, so I'm going to do the other side and get this my stuff all cleaned up. And I'm going to come back to y'all when I'm doing my toes because that hurt like way too bad. Hold on. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe um, for more videos to come. Probably going to do Vlogmas just to start getting my channel up. Um, but yeah. Do I think it's